Fine, we're doing the fucking Christmas special. Get me my fucking glue gun. Okay. We're gonna start by base coating half of the light bulb in white paint. You can also hot glue a paper clip onto the bottom of it that's slightly opened and hang it and just base coat the whole thing at once. It is gonna take several coats though, so you'll wanna let it dry in between. Now that we've got it base coated, we're gonna start by painting the mouth. We're gonna draw kind of a hexagon sort of a shape and we're gonna lightly trace around it, sort of mirroring that shape for the chin. And then we're gonna kind of make these little ovals above it in a Y shape. And then we're gonna draw an upside down heart for the nose and two other hexagon shapes for the eyes. One eye is gonna be smaller than the other because we are going to draw an actual eyeball in this one. And the other one we are going to just paint completely blacked in. We're gonna use black paint to fill in all the shadowy areas. And then I'm getting some gray paint that I've mixed up and I'm kind of blending along all the areas where I have that black. You wanna create a nice little transition from black into gray. And it might look a little muddy and undefined at the moment, but this is just the step to getting it more refined looking. Paintings always look kind of ugly and sloppy as you build up the layers. this white paint on the eye and following the top ridge of the nose which is kind of an upside down V shape. We're gonna let that dry a minute. Now that it's dried a little bit you can really start to see the crisp white lines start to build up over it. So I'm covering up a lot of that gray and then I'm bringing it back in. Some of the black areas I'm blocking in with gray and then I'm gonna come and bring the black back into it. Kind of an upside down V shape above his eyes. And then there's a little L shape along the side of the face right where I'm painting right now. working to blend all that area where the black meets the white with lots of gray in between. And now I'm really getting some of the crisp white edges. I'm highlighting around the nose that little upside down heart shape and highlighting along the mouth and highlighting the uh, left eye that is going to actually have an eyeball in it. Now I'm outlining black along the mouth and certain areas of the nose. I'm just blocking in a lot of the shapes and getting a lot of those fine lines. You're definitely gonna wanna use a liner brush for this. I'm drawing a little U shape in gray along the eye and then I'm also gonna give it a thin line of black. And now I'm gonna start drawing the teeth. It's kind of like drawing a couple little M's and then on the bottom row, drawing a bunch of little W's and then just bringing a line down in between all of those. I got some of my white paint and I'm just highlighting around the nose area, giving it lots of definition trying to hide most of the gray here. This is gonna be where most of the light would hit if this were a real skull. So we want the areas of this to be the lightest color. Now I'm outlining the right eye with the white paint and keeping just a thin layer of gray around it just to give that sense of depth. using the black to outline the nose area. It's not completely blacked in. There are some areas of gray, 
And then I'm also adding a little bit of black at the very bottom of that C shape for the left eye. I'm defining those uh, now I'm defining that V shape that's on the very top of the eyebrows and then reinforcing that uh, little concave area along the sides of the skull and I'm putting a few little lines right above the teeth on the skull and then a few little lines mirroring the same shape underneath the eye sockets this will give your skull a lot of depth Blending a lot of light gray into the white all along the sides of the skull. And now I'm blocking in some black around the jaw. It's going to give the illusion that that's where the skull ends. And I'm bringing a little bit more dark gray in just to blend this and transition it very smoothly. Painting the back part of the neck gray and then blending it up in a circular pattern to white on the back of the skull. start working on the teeth on the bottom jawline and giving a few little white highlights all along the face. The shape of his mouth almost kind of looks like a uterus. That helps you visualize getting all the alignment right. And in this logo, the Droog skull has some spit or drool coming down his mouth so I'm just dragging my liner brush down to make that happen. Filling in a little white highlights along that V shape in the center of his head and now I'm taking a dark gray and I'm outlining the teeth. I'm making little W's and then I'm just putting a line in between each little hump. Now I'm drawing a line directly underneath them and a second one to make the lip shape and the bottom jaw bone. little touches with my black liner brush just to make it really crisp looking. And now I'm adding the eyelashes on the bottom side of the left eye. You just take your liner brush and you drag it in a curved motion downward. bit more blending to the back just to clean it up a bit. Now we're going to get a hot glue gun warmed up and I put a dab of hot glue on the bottom and I have a piece of felt that I've cut in a long rectangle and cut little slits on the bottom to make a little scarf and then I'm just going to twist it in place. And next I'm going to go ahead and take this little bowler hat that I bought off of eBay and I'm going to hot glue it onto the skull. Now that I've hot glued it onto the base of the light bulb, I'm going to twist a little bit of this string that I bought and I'm going to glue it to the top so I have something to hang it from. And that's our finished project. Thanks for crafting with me. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this and it made the holiday spirit a little bit less annoying and Mariah Carey-ish. So if you like my content, make sure to comment and subscribe.